The first thing we need to understand is that a heart attack and a cardiac arrest are two different things. So coming to a heart attack, a heart attack happens when the arteries to the heart get blocked. They get blocked due to so many reasons. Long time diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking habits. And because the arteries to the heart get blocked, blood doesn't flow freely to the heart. So the person feels chest pain, jaw pain, shoulder pain, excessive nausea. He sits down and says, I'm not feeling well. Please take me to the hospital. So what do you do? You put this person in a taxi or a car and rush this person to the hospital. This is a heart attack situation. But a cardiac arrest is totally different. A heart that pumps like this, the heart just stops or it starts fibrillating. And because the heart stops, the person just collapses wherever he is. Could be in the house, on the road, on a railway station, in a mall. Wherever he is, if the heart stops, the person collapses. Now, what is the function of the heart? It pumps blood to the various parts of the body and to the brain. So if the heart stops, blood doesn't even reach the brain. And if the blood doesn't reach the brain, in three minutes, the brain goes into a damaged condition. The person goes into a coma. And 10 minutes, he's gone. Now tell me, who's going to help this person in three minutes? Are you going to reach a hospital in three minutes? Is an ambulance going to come to you in three minutes? Or any doctor going to help in three minutes? The chances are very slim. So who's going to help this person? You are going to help this person. But when are you going to help this person? When you know what to do. So please understand that a heart attack and a cardiac arrest are two different things. In a heart attack, a person is telling you he's not feeling well. You rush him to the hospital. While in a cardiac arrest, the person has collapsed in front of you. He's not breathing and he's not responding. And you need to recognize that it's a cardiac arrest and help that person.